Mohammed, a, a huge moment for you, a, a brilliant victory on the final black against Judd Trump. Just how good did that feel? Um, it feels amazing to put the final black, long black. Uh, I'm very happy with myself. And you're, you've always seemed quite a confident character. And going up against someone like Judd or the top guys, is, is that something that phases you? Or are you always um, quite kind of calm in that? Because you know, if I'm playing um, like more of the older legends, then I, I used to feel a little bit phased because I used to, growing up, I, was, I grew up watching them. But obviously with Judd, because I beat him before, and um, because these guys, they're not that much older than me, like it doesn't uh, phase me as much. Um, even though I should never take age into account, but th the way I look at it is like, he's a couple of years older than me, you know what I mean? Um, just play your game, but yeah. Um, no, it's, I, because I've beaten before, I'm just happy that it's given me the confidence to say, no, it didn't really phase me, no. And with your ranking, you've not always been a regular face on that big TV stage, but mm. when you're out there this afternoon, it was four centuries in the first four frames between the two of you. It was <laughs> really high quality snooker. What did it feel like being out there and playing to that level? It's amazing because um, I, I haven't played, I haven't had a good start like that in, in a match for a very long time. And uh, it, it felt good that I was um, keeping up with Judd because uh, like sometimes you, you give yourself the extra belief that you can like you can really do it sometimes if you, you just focus and I just said to myself just take your time there's no point thinking about your average shot time there's no point rushing around just take your time and just commit to the shots and and it, it worked I was, just, I was happy with that we spoke with you a couple of years ago during the COVID period and you told us an incredible story of how you were sort of stuck in Dubai with countries going on yeah. red lists and eventually stuck in Uzbekistan I think you, you got married out there yeah. and you were Watch, you, you saw the snooker and thought on TV and thought, God, I've got to try yeah. and get back to the UK and eventually find a path back via Russia to, to get into Q school and you got back mm. on the tour. An amazing yeah, story, a, that, to, to be where you are now. It's an amazing path. Of course. I'm so, I'm so grateful, alhamdulillah, that, uh, um, that I was able to make it back and especially uh, after flights had been cancelled because the, the main highlight of that story was I was coming back to the UK from Uzbekistan, but as soon as I got to Turkey, that I had a connection flight, and within that two hours of me waiting in Turkey, the UK put Turkey on the red list. So now not all the flights from Istanbul to the UK were called off. So I had to go back to Uzbekistan and that to find another route, and that's when I came via Russia. So yeah, it was, uh, it was very challenging, but um, yeah, and, uh, I never lost hope. <laughs> And, and did you meet your wife in that period after you got sent back to Uzbekistan? No, no, so I met my wife uh, prior. I met her um, in Uzbekistan before that, and I was only coming back to the UK just to play in Q school, and then I would have went back to Uzbekistan, and that's what, what I eventually did. Obviously, got married, brought her over here, had a beautiful daughter. You know what I mean? So, amazing. <laughs> well, well, it's great to hear that. Yeah. And, 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 and what was it like when you were thinking, did it, what was it that convinced you you just had to get back? I think you were playing Russian billiards out there. Yeah, that was your was, only way yeah. of playing. There, there was only... Um, in, in the city, there's, uh, there's about 300 Russian billiard clubs and there was no snooker. There was only one snooker table, a uh, snooker club that I found in the whole city. Um, but that's after going to many of these Russian billiards clubs, like I'm asking the locals, like, is there a snooker club? And no one knows what snooker is. They only play Russian billiards. But then eventually I met this, um, this guy from Tataristan. He's like part of Russia. Um, and he took me to this club. And uh, yeah, just, I just got the hunger back. And you got back a few days yeah. before key school and managed to get on and yeah. how you're here. So it must, it, that whole journey to be here, it must make you appreciate you know, what you've just achieved today. Uh, we, uh, we, I appreciate just playing snooker because the way I'm looking at it now, I just want to enjoy playing snooker. Like everyone that goes up the club and plays snooker, they just want to enjoy it. They want to escape. This is my escape now. This is not my, my life, my, my work. This is my escape from the world this is the way I'm trying to look at it, so I can enjoy it more. I'm not trying to think, oh, I need to win, or, you know what I mean? I, I need to try and keep myself, give myself like a, a positive outcome playing snooker. So I don't want to think of it as work and I have to practice, I have to do lineups, I have to do solo 10 hours a day, all this. I just want to say to myself, play as much as you can, try and enjoy it as much as you can, and when you've had enough, you've had enough, you know what I mean? Um, so now I come to tournaments and I just want to play well, I just want to enjoy it. That's all I want to do. 
And we've got the random draw coming up tonight yeah. ahead of the rest of this week. So how yeah. much are you looking forward to what could we could unfold for the rest of the week here? Yeah, the random draw. Um, what time has it been taken? Well, it's later on this evening. It's sort of just maybe about between seven and eight o'clock tonight. Seven and so. eight o'clock. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. I hope I don't draw another top player. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's uh, let's see. Yeah, every match is going to be tough. So got to be positive.